Let me show you how to set up your KickChat in Streamlabs or OBS Studio. First, I'll show you how to set it up in your software. And then after that, I'll show you how to set it up over your stream. So the first thing you want to do is go to our Kick page. So log in with Kick, go to the top right corner and click Creator Dashboard. Then we're going to go to the chat, click the three dots and click Pop Out Chat. And we're going to copy this URL right here. So we're just going to copy that. Now we're going to go into Streamlabs first and then OBS after. So this is what my Streamlabs looks like. We're going to put in the chat right here and if you want to set it up like how I have it you can go to this little arrow right there and go to layout editor which might be hidden underneath editor and so I use this one right here and basically what it just looks like is this and what we're gonna do is you can drag any of these out if you like but we're gonna drag the website option here and we're gonna first type in kick.com and hit save changes it's gonna bring up our kick page but we have to log in first so we log in with your kick account then we're gonna click log in Give it a second to load. Now we've logged in with our kick account, so it has our information. So now we're gonna go back to the layout editor and we're gonna get rid of this link and paste the link that we copied from our chat room. So doing that, we'll click save changes. It'll populate our kick chat room right here and we're able to send messages because we've logged in to kick like that. So now you can see we got our messages right there. For OBS Studio, it's a very similar process, but if you're wondering where I got this really cool overlay, I actually got it from today's sponsor, Own. Pro. I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can check it out for yourselves. But all you have to do is click this little join for free button. And then you can log into owned. Then you'll be brought to the dashboard. And if you scroll down, you can download the OBS plugin. And once you've installed the OBS plugin and restarted your OBS, then you'll see this own pro tab at the top. And you'll be able to see all of these different overlay packages that you can just instantly import to your stream. They got a bunch of free ones that you can use at the top. But if you want access to hundreds of different overlay packages that you can easily switch between then you can also upgrade to their paid subscription and it's as simple as clicking on one of these and you'll just hit install and it'll import everything into OBS so once again I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to take your stream to the next level we're gonna go to the Docs tab at the top custom browser Docs you'll see that I got a couple ones here so I'll just delete these we're just gonna call this one kick and the URL is gonna be kick.com click apply you'll see the same page that we saw here if you're not able to click log in or whatever right click and you can zoom out out or zoom in whichever you have to do enough until you can click the login button so we're gonna click login login with our account we've logged in with our account so that's great we'll X that out we're gonna get rid of this one we're gonna call this one kick chat then we're gonna paste in that kick chat URL that we copied before then we're gonna click apply and it's gonna bring up our kick chat here so we can drag it into the side over here click close and you can see that we can also test messages like so scroll all the way down you see you got our message here if you're not able to import this doc just go to the Docs tab and make sure that Lock Docs is not locked and you'll be good to go. But now let me show you how to set up your chat over your stream so your viewers can read it. We'll be using a free tool called Botrix, which I'll leave linked in the description down below. Once we're on this page, we're gonna log in with one of these four options. Don't worry though, we'll be linking our Kick account after we log in with one of these four first. Once you've logged in with one of those four options, it'll bring you to the Profile tab and we're gonna scroll down until we see Sign In with Kick. So we're gonna click Sign In with Kick. We're gonna put in our kick username so in this instance I'm using a burner account so I'm just gonna post in that kick username then I'm gonna click accept now we're gonna have to mod bot Rick so we're going to click on the continue button it'll bring us to our moderators page on our creator dashboard so if you don't know how to get here just go to your kick page go to the top right go to creator dashboard and then we go to community and then moderators then we can click add new and we can type in bot Ricks, and then you're gonna see it with a little green check mark so click on that and then we're gonna click add now we can go back to Botrix it'll bring up this little box here and we're just going to copy this and we're gonna right click and copy then we're gonna go to this link right here so we're gonna click this link and not the finished button it's gonna bring us to the Botrix chat room and if you don't see this Botrix chat room then just go to this URL right here and just type that in your browser and once you're in Botrix's chat room we're just gonna paste in this link message that we copied we're gonna send it by clicking chat or hitting enter give it a couple seconds now it says that your account has been successfully linked so let's go back to Botrix and now we can click finished so now once we've linked our kick account and we're under the profile tab you notice that our platform says twitch we want that to say kick because we want to change our kick settings and not our twitch settings or whatever you logged in with at the beginning so we're just gonna go to the profile tab and we're gonna click on the green settings icon next to kick and that's gonna change our platform to kick so we can change
change all of our kick settings here. So from here, we're gonna go to the widgets tab and go all the way down till we see the chat room. So you'll notice that you'll be able to see the display of what this chat is gonna look like. Right now, we only wanna use kick, but if you're multi-streaming, this is a great solution for you. So if you wanted to have your kick chat, your YouTube chat and Twitch chat all in the same place, then you can feel free to use these options. But right now we're just gonna use kick, so I'm gonna disable all of them but kick. You have the options to hide bot messages or include these extra emotes, which is fine. You can also hide old messages, and now you're able to adjust how long it takes before those messages disappear. But I'm a fan of just leaving them on, so I'm gonna disable that. You can also adjust the font size if you have some glasses on or you just can't see it too great. And every time you make changes, it'll display up here. It just might take a couple seconds for it to make those changes. You can also hide commands with the exclamation point, which I recommend. You can also show the platform icon, which is really helpful if you're multi-streaming. So that way you can see who's talking from Twitch, YouTube, Kick, etc. But since we're just using it for Kick right now, I'm gonna leave it disabled. You can also change the pattern. They got a bunch of different ones here. I feel like the most popular is probably gonna be transparent. So I'm gonna use transparent, but you can feel free to check out all the different patterns to find which one suits you best. So once you've customized your chat to how you want it, you can just go to that widget URL and click copy. And we're gonna go into our streaming software. We'll start with OBS first, but it's literally the same process for all the other places. You just go to your sources. You're gonna add a new source, click browser source. We'll just call it kick chat. And then we're gonna paste in the URL we just got, click okay. And our kick chat will pop up here and we can just send a bunch of messages to show that. So we have that here. So if you have like a just chatting scene like this and you want your chat to perfectly fit in this box, we're just gonna add a new browser source just like we did with the kick chat. And we're gonna paste this in, but now you can adjust the width and height using these boxes right here. So right now I'm just gonna click okay. We're gonna get that box over here. And now I can double click on that kick chat source and we can go and change the width and height to where it's gonna fit in that box perfectly. Hopefully I can get it relatively quickly. It'll make the changes when you hit okay. So I think that was a little bit too much. So we're just gonna keep tweaking it until we get just right. So I'm gonna guess this is pretty close. We're gonna drag it right about there. I think that's pretty good. We're gonna send some messages. So that way it fits in whatever text box you're trying to get it to fit in. And like I said, if you're multi-streaming and you wanna read your chat in OBS, you can just add that as a doc. So custom browser doc, we'll just call it multi chat. Then we're gonna paste in this link that we just got, click apply. And so you can just dock your multi chat anywhere you want in OBS. Probably I gotta get rid of one of these like this. Drag that over on the side, please get in there. Come on, there you go. And then click apply, close. And then we can start sending some messages, which I gotta go do that over on kick. So let's send a bunch of messages to populate some for our little Botrix multi-chat. And so you can see we got our multi-chat settings here. Though honestly, we'd have to change the font and just make another multi-chat box because this is a little obnoxiously big for this kind of context. And once again, you could always design this specific chat box to how you want it because you can have multiple chat boxes, just copy the new browser source URL. And it's the same process with Streamlabs or whatever else you're using. So all you'd have to do is add a new browser source. So add a source browser source if I can sit that add source there we go and we'll click kick chat close enough click add source paste in this little URL that I just got rid of so I'll just go back and copy it again because I lost it and then we're simply just going to paste in the URL click close you can also change the height and width just like we did in OBS then you got your chat box right here so we can send some more messages just to show you that it does pop up and you can pop it on the screen wherever your little hearts desire. And if you guys are a one monitor streamer that wants to read their chat over their game because they only have one computer screen, I got a video for that on the top right corner that you can check out. But otherwise, if you want to take your kick stream to the next level, I got a whole playlist of over 20 videos related to kick tutorials and everything you need to know about kick streaming. So watch that playlist to take your kick stream to the next level. But my name's Cody and I'll see you in the next one.